This was a week before Christmas. We are at Bangalore International Airport flying to Phu Nhoi, Cambodia via Bangkok. Our flight to Bangkok is 4 hour long with 3 hour layover there and then an hour long flight to Phu Nhoi. Phunofe is capital of Cambodia. To its north is Siam Reef and to the southwest is Sianakville. It was sort of pit stop for us before we leave for Siam Reef. Our hotel check-in was 2 pm but we reached early. So we dropped our bags at the hotel and went to check out National Museum. The entry fee was $5, additional $5 for the audio guide. The museum had many artifacts that symbolizes Hinduism, Buddhism and also depict the transition that happened between these two religions in this country. We spent around 3 hours there. We went back to our hotel to check in and freshen up. Our room came with a private swimming pool. We freshened up and headed to the royal palace. Unfortunately, was closed for the day as it was 5 pm. We spoke to a tuk tuk driver who suggested us to visit a Buddhist temple on a small hill. You can easily get around the city in a tuk tuk, but make sure you negotiate and fix a price before you get in. The temple was at the highest point of Funofe. It had a giant clock at the base. From the Buddhist temple, we went to the nearby market to try some local food. We saw a wide variety of snail, crab, fresh vegetables, fermented fish, and a lot of fruit. The market had a funny smell, kind of fruity pungent. There were variety of street food. We got hungry. Went into a local restaurant. They had an elaborated menu. We tried fried fish. We have a bus to catch at 1 pm. So we had half a day. Thought to explore some more market in the city. Went to the central market first. It seems to be the center of all the bling bling shopping in the city. You can find fake watches, Chinese GoPros, other electronics and, and clothing also. My favorite part is always the food market. It is like a 3D experience. You can see a dynamic range of colors, smell a wide range of odors and can touch it. And then we went to the Russian market. The lane were very narrow. Each lane was divided into different set of shops. From hardware store to fancy clothing. I was looking for durian. It seems it was off season for it.
in the food market they were selling handmade noodles and there were small shops everywhere selling soup and rice we wandered around the market for a while going around in circle checking each and every shop it was fun then it was about time to return to our hotel to check out We boarded our minibus to Siam Reap. The ride is going to be a long one, six hour long. The tragedy with us was, our seat were in the last row.